Hi everybody, it's Tree. Um, how are you doing? I just really, I want to tell you guys how much I love you and I swear to you, there's a miracle on the horizon um, for everybody. The pain and the suffering and the confusion, it's, it's almost, it's almost over. Just hang on a little bit longer. Hang on for dear life. Hang on, hang on to your identity. Your identity is so important. Your entity with identity, your entity with identity, your divine archetype. Um, be comfortable with who you are, and know that um, the the way that you know we are now, you know, with all of our illness and suffering and aging and everything that makes you. that makes you, um, you know, feel bad or hurt, you know, and everything like that is, it's not our natural state. That's not how we were created. We were not created to be like this. We were not created to suffer. We were not created to get old and sick and die and suffer and all these diseases. We were not created to be alone. Um, and we were not created to, uh, be without our identities either. We have access to that. We, we only use three to seven percent of our mind and that leaves a lot of mind left to use and all of our abilities and stuff, you know, we didn't come with instructions. Well, really we did and it's inside of us but we have just been poisoned so much throughout time and through um, the chemtrails, you know, and all the poisons in our food and our water and those damn chemtrails, I mean, those things are, uh, they're gassing the hell out of us. It's like we are being gassed to death. No, well, not to death, but it's dumbing people down. It's making us so that we cannot feel enough to care enough to do anything. And so people are not capable, well, for the most part, of being able to feel or comprehend what's going on around them because we're being drugged, okay? Not to mention all the prescription medicines and you don't even need a, you know, a doctor is supposed to um, prescribe a medication, you know, for something, but now on the TV they give you, uh, well, if you have this and this and this, then you probably need this, ask your doctor or whatever. So, I mean, they're letting, they're actually having us diagnose ourselves, you know, there's a cure for this, or not a cure, it's just, it covers everything up and all these pills and all these drugs and everything even our natural fruits and vegetables and stuff is full of antibiotics and hormones and everything, you know, this is not our natural state. And so a lot of the people aren't doing anything because they can't feel enough to care enough. We are only using like a small percentage of our emotions, our experience, you know. What makes us live? What makes us thrive? What makes you wake up and be um, able to get up? You know, what is it for? It's because there has to be something, a dream, something to go for, something to live for. And if you don't have the dream, then, you know, people, they don't, if they don't have the dream, then they feel nothing to live for, even though we wake up, you know, like robots or what, you know, blah, 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 you know. And also, you know, the experience of happiness and ecstasy in our emotions. You know, when we do get those times when it feels really good or something really exciting happens or something good, you know, it doesn't last. It's only for a small time, you know. And the feelings that we have, you know, it takes a little bit of effort to do that, but to experience every emotion and every experience that you can to its fullest. On a scale of 1 to 10, we're probably experiencing our emotions like 1%. Some of the best days of our lives, some of the best times of our life just fly right by us because we can't feel or experience it because we're worrying about the past or the future or just not being our, you know, pH balance or our, you know, ability to feel that ecstasy is just so dumbed down that that people just, you know, are, are missing out on that experience. But if you can't feel, you're not real. What makes you real is that experience, that feeling, and, and going out and seeking out things that will cause you to feel things in your emotions 
you know, to stimulate them because your emotion is what connects you to your spirit. It's what connects you to your soul, yourself, your true identity. Um, and another thing, um, the, well, like the oil in the gasoline that they burn and stuff and us having the technology for so long to be able to run our cars off of water, be able to get our electric or energy or stuff through the sun or the moon or the push and pull of the ocean.